Hello guys, this video will go over my top 5 fishing lures to use in the summer when things become real hot and the fish move slower and deeper. Thank you guys for watching, everything you see in the video will have a link down in the description below. Peace. The Hula Popper 2.0 is completely changing the face of Arbogast. We've engineered this bait to not only look good, but to be just as effective as the traditional model that anglers have trusted for decades. This is a mirror image of the popular G760 Hula Popper body, which is two inches long. We've upgraded the hooks, which are also now number six black nickel hooks. We've also equipped it with split rings, so now those hooks have a full range of motion and will help increase hookup ratios tremendously. The rear feather dress treble hook is another visually stunning feature about this bait. These feathers sit just beneath the surface of the water and have a beautiful tail-like appearance. They're dotted with the key color relating to each pattern, giving fish something to key in on when going for that strike. We've also got four brand new original color patterns to choose from. White Zombie, Blue Kill, Coach Hog, and Black Death. You'll notice on the back of these bodies are what appears to be cracks. This is created from a sensation from fast drying paint. The bright colored base layer of paint is put down initially and then gets a clear coat. From there, we put down a special paint on top of that layer that dries quickly and shrinks up. When it shrinks, it breaks apart and creates those crackle patterns. What's cool about this is that no two baits will dry up the same. Every single one will have its own unique pattern. There's a couple different ways you can work the Hula Popper 2.0. There's an aggressive approach and more subtle approach. The aggressive approach, you're basically leaving yourself no slack at all, and you're reeling up and pulling that bait underwater. This is gonna trigger a lot of reaction strikes, and it's a really great way to fish the bait when you're fishing dirty water. That's gonna mimic any type of bait fish that's fleeing or trying to get away from a predator. The second way is a lot more subtle approach. This is great for when you're fishing clear water. You're gonna to wanna to leave yourself a little bit of slack in your line. It's gonna allow that bait to not move quite nearly as far when you're making those sweeping motions with your rod tip to make that bait pop. That's gonna mimic any type of bait fish that's feeding at the top of the surface. Strike King is the leader in deep diving crankbaits. I'd hate to guess how many tournaments have been won on a 6XD in the last couple of years. Well, this season, we've stepped it up a notch. We've got the brand new 10XD. Now, this bait is physically a lot bigger than a 6XD. It's designed for those really big bass. It's got a weight transfer system, so it casts like a bullet. When it enters the water, it has a super steep dive angle, so it's going to get to those maximum depths. I mean, again, this bait will get down to 25 feet where the big fish live. Phil Marks, our head lure designer, won the FLW tournament at Sam Rayburn last fall with the new 10XD, and it set the market on fire. Everybody's looking to get to that next zone, and the only way to do it is with a 10XD. swim jig needs to be built a little bit differently. When it's right, nothing else even compares to it. Terminator heavy duty swim jig, the complete package for a swim jig. A swim jig, especially on a still day like this, we've got no wind at all. Those are the kind of conditions where a swim jig just really excels. Those fish don't need a lot of aggressiveness, a lot of vibration. But you can fish it at any speed, any depth, any type of cover. Oh, that fish is a good one too. Man, swimming a jig can be so much fun. Truly one of the most effective, extremely shallow water presentations. The Terminator heavy duty swim jig is really the perfect swim jig in my opinion. Something I was able to be able to put my input on to make a tool that I needed. Starting with an inline line tie, 3D eye, a nice balanced head, 
very balanced, very in line swim jig is really important to come through the kind of stuff that you're gonna throw it in. The good weed guard, the weed guard soft enough, gets out of the way. Really realistic skirts. Trailer keeper. And then a really super strong five alt VMC wide gap hook. That big wide gap hook, it's a really good stout hook that'll hold up for a lot of big fish catches. Pretty nice one. Out in this submerged vegetation, when you think of a swim jig, you think of submerged vegetation, at least I do. I've caught them around everything on it. The Terminator heavy duty swim jig comes in 12 colors and two sizes, a 3 8 and a half ounce, and colors that match everything you need for bait fish to crawl to brim. We've got a color that's going to match every type of forage you'll be fishing throughout the country. This jig here really has all the right pieces to make the complete package for a swim jig. There's one other really quality fish right there, man. Flutter Shad is made with Live Target's new injected core technology. The lifelike inner core mimics a thin profile bait fish, such as a shad or sardine. The core is then encapsulated in a clear, durable exoskin, which generates the Flutter Shad's signature action. As shown here, the outer shape of this traditional manufacturing process is necessary to create the action, but unnatural in profile, making game fish wary. The outer shape of the Flutter Shad is less noticeable underwater, Game fish can focus on the natural profile of the shad. All right, everybody, we've got the latest ICT technology from Live Target in a hard bait, the Flutter Shad. You can see right there, as realistic as it gets in a spoon application, comes with a swivel, feathered treble, 10 colors, and five sizes. Now, what we're going to do today is utilize it like on some of these boat docks in the ounce and the ounce and a half, but they go down plum to three eighths. You know, with the ICT technology, you can see there that it's got an actual slab style spoon with the detail that's unimaginable and actually kind of a plastic casing. What that's gonna allow you to do is perform different applications like no other spoon. You know, this is gonna work great on multi-species from white bass, hybrid stripers, trout, I mean bass. It's gonna go everywhere around the country, but it allows you to do it, say for instance, on schooling fish. You can actually fire this bait out there and walk it on top and make it scoot around. And when one gets to chasing it, just kill it. And I mean, it flutters like no other. They cannot stand it. It's amazing that the weight of this bait being an ounce, how well it drifts right on top of the water. You know, if you have an open mind and play with this thing a little bit, there's no telling what you can do with it. And then you can just turn around and see one on the troll motor, drop it straight down to him and vertical fish like we have for years. With the same application, if those fish come up schooling, you can throw this thing a mile and land right in them. And it really walks up so good in the water column. I'm just really excited about it with the new technology. It's just given us a wider variety of things to try with it and do with it, which fish have not seen before. And it's gonna turn around and get more bites on any given day in a tournament. Definitely one I'm going to have in my box. The new Flutter Shad comes in five sizes and ten vibrant colors. The Flutter Sardine includes a saltwater grade treble hook and comes in five sizes and six colors. 